Tomorrow we have the North Island derby. That is Arsenal facing off against Tottenham. Without their captain, Mike uh, Odegaard and also Declan Rice will be missing through suspension. Uh, do you think Arsenal stand a chance? Yeah, I think Arsenal will still stand a chance, yeah. depending on the manager of, uh, formation team and how he will control his players. Yeah. We have a huge performance yeah. to wait and see how they will perform, but I still vouch for Arsenal to win that game. Yeah. I think the junior is enough for the midfield. Yeah. The junior is going to impress the Dikra Rice. Yeah. yeah. And, and this one they will combine with the Thomas Pate. Yeah. Yeah. The mid is okay. Arsenal, we are okay. I think this one is going to be 2 0. Arsenal is going to win. Because yeah. for Arsenal, we don't uh, compare about the uh, squad. We have enough squad. The minus decrease, we have enough squad. But at the moment, uh, yeah. Arsenal's mid is very weak. Yeah. And you know, as you know, as a player, I'm as a fan, yeah. the, the, the mid is always the best. Yeah. For, for, that, for, like, for, the, for the for the team. Yeah. So if the mid is weak, the team is weak. Yeah. So I don't see Arsenal helping themselves tomorrow. Yeah. For Arsenal, I don't yeah. think they'll have to stand a chance because first of all, yeah. Tottenham are playing at home. Yeah. They don't have rice in the team. Yeah. They don't have they have injuries. Yeah. So most most probably yeah. I vote for Tottenham yeah. and I'm being a Manchester United fan, I'm not voting for Arsenal yeah. and I hope they will be beaten tomorrow. Maybe beaten by a margin of how many goals? Let's say 2-0. 2 nil. 2 nil. 2 nil. 2 nil to Renham. Yeah. I think there's no problem. Yeah. Because we have somebody like uh, the place of uh, Odegaard. Yeah. Now where can you play there? Yeah. Then the place of uh, Rice. Yeah. We can move upwards from the forward. Yeah. He come, the, the, come to play the place of uh, Rice. Yeah. Then Jesus can you play on striking. I think there's no problem on the, the team. Either way. Yeah. Arsenal is strong. Yeah. I'm not. I, I'm a Manchester fan, and I'm not a hater yeah. to Arsenal. Yeah. But what I know is Arsenal is still strong, yeah. even if it's lacking like their key players. Yeah. But Tottenham is weak compared to Arsenal this yeah. season. Yeah. That's at least what I see. And I'm gonna say Arsenal is gonna bang Tottenham. I think it is going to be a draw. Yeah, yeah that is that is my thought. A draw? Yeah, it's going to be a draw of a 1-1 or nil nil. That is my thought. Tomorrow I think Pato will play. Yeah. It's a key match for, for them tomorrow. Yeah. And they must win too. But all the best for them. But yeah. it will be a hard match tomorrow. Yeah. I'm telling you. It will be a Tottenham easy win. Yeah. Since Odegaard will be not there. Mm. Plus Rice won't be there. Yeah. And plus Tottenham will be at their home. So winning will be so easy. Uh, maybe by a score of line off? I think Tottenham may, might beat yeah. Arsenal yeah. three to one goals. You know, before we were having a problem about the our Kane. Yeah. You know, now they don't have our Kane. Yeah. Kane was a threat for Arsenal for uh, Randon Derby. Yeah. But by now, we are going to win that match two 0 I hope Tottenham will beat Arsenal yeah. tomorrow yeah. because yeah. Arsenal right now they have the Kandai has a red card yeah. and Martin Odegaard is their captain. Is yeah. he is injured? Yeah. Oh, and I hope the new signing from Tottenham, uh, Dominic Solanke, I hope he'll score tomorrow. Yeah. Combination with Son and Madison. Yeah. Even Neymar, when he was at for the World Cup, when he got injured, like everyone was depending on him. Yeah. And then the team's chemistry went down. Yeah. But for Arsenal, yeah. they have like a replacement for, for Odegaard either way, so they are still strong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you think uh, your new signing, uh, Raheem Sterling, uh, will perform or rather will uh, do good in this uh, Chelsea, in this Arsenal side? Of course, definitely. This guy is in form. Yeah. He's going to perform according to the format for Arsenal. Yeah. He's going to fit in the team. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's no problem. We as Chelsea, London is London. We have given yeah. them Harvard, we have given them Sterling. Yeah. What else do they need? They just need to win. That's yeah. it. Yes. You've seen your coach, uh, Mikel Ateta, extending his contract uh, by three years. Uh, do you think uh, now maybe this is the year of Mikel Ateta, considering he has been the run runners-up uh, the past two seasons? I think this is now the time of Michael Ateta. Yeah. Because we have been, he has been improving all the time. Yeah. I think to add the contract, yeah. it's now a good time to mm. challenge the Manchester City. Ateta is, is there to stay. Yeah. He's going to work like Arsene Wenger. Yeah. He's not going anywhere, because he... A third year has a future for Arsenal. He's yeah. going to win the Premier League this season. Yeah. We have the confidence for him. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good coach and he has the mentality to make Arsenal to be a great team. Yes, yes that's a good contract yeah. and he's a good coach. Yeah. Yes, yeah. A winning team has a good coach and always a good coach. Yeah. What do you predict the scoreline Arsenal versus Tottenham? Uh, that will be a, a clean 3-0. 3-0 to Tottenham? Yeah, Tottenham.
Excellent. Two nil. Two nil. Yes. Well, well, well that is, this is Kenya Fan TV for you. This is where sports news and fan reaction lives. Keep on liking, sharing, and subscribing for more of these sports videos. Yeah.